Having a powerful top bar call to action can increase the conversion power of your website. This highly effective banner shows up on every page and it is a constant reminder to your visitor of the number one way to take the next step with you. In this video, I will be walking through three ways to implement a top bar call to action on your website in WordPress. Two of the methods do require that you have a Divi theme on your website and one will work on any WordPress site. Hey, hey to all of my tech loving friends, it's Sam, your favorite WordPress connoisseur, website developer, and strategist. If this is your first time joining us here, welcome, happy to have you. And if you are a returning tech nerd, welcome back. Now let's dive right into the three ways to implement a top bar call to action, also known as a CTA on your WordPress site. The first method I want to get into does not require that you have the Divi theme on your WordPress website, but you do need to install a free plugin. The plugin is called Hello Bar, and you can get to it by going to wordpress.org slash plugins slash hello bar. And you can download it from here, or you can simply upload it right in your plugin directory on your website. So if I come into plugins, I can click on add new, and then I can search for Hello Bar. Once I've found that plugin, I can install it and then activate it once it's been installed. So now that the Hello Bar plugin has been installed, I can come to hellobar.com and create a free account. It is going to give me lots of options here, different goals that I might have. I would say that if you're a service provider or a coach, you probably want to either click on get phone calls or click target a URL. I would click on target a URL because that means I can send someone to a scheduling link for Calendly, for example. Then you can choose the different types of pop-ups that you want. For this tutorial, I'm talking about using a hello bar at the top, a customizable banner that you can put at the top of your website. You can absolutely read through these steps if you'd like to. I'm going to skip it for this example because I do know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come to design and I'm going to start changing the template. They've got a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. You can upgrade to have full customization over this, but in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these. And you can auto detect colors from the site, which is pretty cool so that it does fit the same vibe and feel. So I really like how this looks. Of course, this is not what I want my call to action to say. I would like it to say something like, click here to book a free call. And then this link would link to my Calendly, for example. So book a call. You need to update this URL target so it actually goes to the place that you want it to go to. So your Calendly link in this case. And then you're all set. Now, once you click on publish now, you do have to make sure you integrate it on your site. So because we've already installed the plugin, we just need to grab this site snippet and paste it in our hello bar on our website. So if you come back to your website, you'll see hello bar over here on the left-hand side and you can click on that. And then you'll go ahead and enter your site snippet here to activate it. Do note that if you don't see the hello bar right away, you might have a setting that has a delay for a couple seconds, which you can update here in the settings of your bar that you've created. So if you come back to the bar that you created and click on edit, you can actually change out those delay settings. I would set it to show immediately. Right here where it says, when does it display? I would say immediately, and I would keep a lot of this stuff the same. I do like an animated entry and exit because it draws your eye to the bar and you can have things like wiggling the button and, and stuff like that. So that it, again, it just draws someone's eye to it. What's nice about the top bar call to action is it's not a giant pop-up that shows up on someone's screen. It's something like up at the top, it's out of the way, but it will show up on every single page. So they see that as the first thing that they see. And that's how to set up the hello bar for your website. So this is method one. This second method does require a little more work, but it gives you more customization options. So if you have the Divi theme installed on your website, you can come over to Divi and then go to theme builder. And then you can go to default website template and create a global header. When you do this, you'll need to set up your menu bar because when you create an establish a global header on your website, it'll delete anything that's in your header. So you need to make sure to recreate your header here. We won't go through all of that in this video, but just a quick tip in order to do that, you need to add a module that is called menu. So you can actually add the menu to your site. It's nice though, because you have full autonomy over how your menu looks on your website. But to create the call to action bar, all you need to do is just create a new section, add a single row, and then add a text section, and then add the content that you want in your call to action bar. So here is the content. 
and then you can center it. You can link it for having someone book a call with me. So now that we've linked everything, we want to come back to this section and then adjust the padding on top and bottom and give it a nice bold background. So something like this blue color, I would definitely use a white link in that case. So it's much more readable, but then you can go to the design tab and change the spa spacing to maybe 10 on the top and bottom, or maybe even zero if you wanted it to be nice and tight at the top. And then all you do is you just take this and move it above your menu. And now you have a great call to action bar. The best thing about Divi 2 is that you can actually link the entire section. So if someone even clicked over here on the right hand side or the left hand side, not on the text. So you can click on this gear icon and then go to link and then link this entire section to your call to action, which I think is really cool because then it allows total flexibility over where someone clicks, especially when they're on mobile. So that's how you can add the call to action bar. I'm going to delete this because I already have my great call to action bar on my website that I use. And I believe I've got the entire section link. If I don't, I'm going to update that. Yes, I sure do. Okay. So that is the second method for adding a call to action bar to your website. This one using Divi. Now for the third method, this is probably the easiest. It is using an effortless website kit where the call to action bar is built in. Several of our website kits have the call to action bar built in. You can see this Claire one has it right here. And so what you'll do is in your website kit, you can actually just update the call to action right from your theme customizer. So what's really great about the website kits is that from the theme customizer, you can actually update this call to action bar. So all you do is you add the link in here that you want to link it to, and then you can change the text here to whatever you want it to say. The best part is that the colors automatically go with the rest of your website and it's just all right here on your website, which makes it super, super easy. So for example, if I wanted to change my brand color to be pink, for example, now the rest of my site is updated to have that nice pink color. And of course, my call to action bar directly matches that as well. So we really, really make it easy. This is a Divi child theme that goes on top of Divi. And of course, this is one of our effortless website kits. This is the Claire. So I love this. We built the top bar call to action into many of the website kits because it is such an effective tool for allowing people to take that next step with you directly from your website on any page. So if they're on your blog, they'll see this call to action there and they'll be able to take that next step with you. You can learn more about our effortless website kits by going to effortlesswebkits.com. There you'll see all of the different kit options that we have, and we're always releasing new ones that are fitted for different industries. And that is how you set up a call to action bar on your website in three different ways, either using the hello bar plugin, using the Divi theme builder, or the easiest way is using one of our effortless website kits. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more simple and actionable tech, WordPress, and Divi tutorials for your business. Until next time, stay upbeat, stay joyful, and love your tech.